I'd like to call them to order the meeting of the village board for February 23rd, 2021. Could you please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Village Kirk, would you please call the roll? Uh, President D. Simone? Here. Uh, Trustee Franz? Here. Trustee Fry? Here. Trustee Lomax? Here. Trustee Penicola? Here. Trustee Perez? Here. That, that's six. Trustee Carmona is absent. At this time, we'll move the public comment. Does anyone wish to address the board? If so, please approach the podium and state your name. Yeah. Seeing no uh -huh. public comment, are there any online public comments? There are none this evening, Mr. President. This will conclude our public comment. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from the February 9th, 2021 Village Board meeting? You have a motion. Is there a second? You have a second. Are there any modifications to the minutes? Please call the roll. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. The motion carries and the minutes are approved. <laughs> The next item of business is to approve the warrant in the amount of $760,957.68. Is there a motion to approve the warrant? You have a motion. Is there a second? You have a second. There, uh, is, is there any discussion on the warrant? Call the roll, please. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries and the warrant is approved. There are no items on the consent agenda. Um, we do have an item under finance. It's a resolution authorizing an agreement with MWM Consulting Group for uh, actual actuarial services for finance for fiscal years 2021 or 2020 and 2021. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? Motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. There being a motion and a second. Any discussion? Ms. McManus? Is a uh, resolution to hire MWM Consulting Group as our actuaries for both our police pension and our other post-employment benefits, which is basically we offer medical at the cost of the employee. Um, these are needed for audit. Uh, the contract in total is 19175 uh, the current year would be 11700 and we are expecting to cover that with already existing budget. Any other questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries and the resolution is approved. Uh, nothing for poli police department right now. Uh, Public Works is a resolution authorizing the execution of amendment number one to an existing engineering service contract with Strand Inter Associates Incorporated to perform design engineering services for the York Road LS10 and Thomas Foster LS15 lift station upgrades in the revised not to exceed amount of $112,500. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. There being a motion, a second. Uh, Joe, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. Um, my first item tonight is an amendment to a design contract with Strand Associates. Um, Village Board approved a contract back in October for our upcoming lift station upgrade projects. Uh, during our initial field inspection, though, uh, we looked at the York Road lift station with the engineer. Uh, we actually drained a wet well, which is basically where all the water from the North Business District goes to before we pump it out. Uh, when we were looking at that wet well, um, we found that some of its components were in very bad condition. Um, we didn't anticipate performing any repairs in the wet well. Uh, we thought that the initial um, repairs to the wet well were done as part of the acquisition area. Uh, so some of the components that we uh, didn't expect to replace, I think we need to replace now in order to do this project correctly. Uh, some of the additions to the scope will include some concrete repairs to the walls. Um, we're going to replace one of the pumps. Uh, these pumps are submersible pumps, so we only get to look at them when we pull them out every once in a while. Um, some of the guide rails that we pull the pumps out on. Um, and a big component of the extra work is actually going to be the design of bypass pumping. Uh, because we have to drain that well, uh, we have to bypass pump all of the 
uh, wastewater from the North Business District as we do that work. It's probably going to take about a week or two to do. So um, we have to strategically pump around that lift station to try to get the, uh, the work done. Uh, the additional effort from Strand was negotiated at $27,600. Uh, that brings our new contract total to $112,000, or $112,500. Uh, this was not anticipated in our budget uh, for this year. Uh, in order to support this change financially, we plan to bid the project with the York Road lift station being the primary focus of the project and the Thomas Foster, which was the other lift station as part of that design concept, um, as an alternate bid. Uh, we really don't know what the um, the flavor of the uh, construction season is going to be, uh, but based on the bids and the budget at the time of the award, we'll make a recommendation to either pursue Foster Thomas or hold back on Foster Thomas uh, and have it just as a fully designed shovel-ready project for future construction. So with that, uh, staff does recommend approval of this design amendment. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries resolution is approved. Number two is a resolution authorizing the execution of a contract with Superior Road Striping, Incorporated of Melrose Park, Illinois, for the 2021 pavement striping program in the amount of $18,983.19. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. There being a motion, a second, Joe, discussion? Yeah, so our annual pavement striping program was uh, not performed last year due to COVID. Uh, so we're trying to get back on track with the 2021 program. Uh, this safety-centered initiative really uh, is going to focus on our North Business District, um, Area 1, as well as Area 5, which is the south end of town. Um, there's a few touch-up spots we're going to hit in the middle of town in Areas 2 and 3 as well. Uh, this contract utilizes a joint purchase program. Uh, there's actually two of them out there, one through the Northwestern Municipal Conference and the other through DuPage's, DuPage County um, Department of Transportation or DUDOT. Uh, we looked at the quantities that we were looking at doing this year, compared them to both of those contracts, and the DUDOT contract actually was more financially beneficial to us. Uh, the value of the project this year is just under $19,000. Uh, we did budget 20, so staff does recommend the approval. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's motion, five. Motion carries resolution is approved. Number three is a resolution authorizing the execution of a four-year contract with St. Aubin Nursery and, and Landscaping Incorporated for the 2021 through 2024 tree purchase and delivery contract and then not to exceed amount of $142,230. Is there a motion to approve? Motion. Do I have a second? Do you have a second? Joe, discussion? Yeah, so this year staff decided to go out to bid on a multi-year tree planting program. Uh, if you recall, we do plant the trees in-house, so this is more of a purchase and delivery um, contract. Our goal for our new four-year contract was to hopefully allow more nurseries to participate in the bidding. Uh, we've had one bidder couple years in a row. Um, we really wanted to branch out and see if we can find more nurseries that would be interested. We thought that by doing a four-year program, they could be planting trees for years two, three, and four, and hopefully have more of the trees available. Um, the bid included purchasing for our annual tree program, which is 60 trees in the spring and 60 trees in the fall uh, for the next four years. And then also we wanted to do a reinvestment in the Route 83 median trees. As you're aware, many of those trees weren't doing very well. A number of them got hit. Um, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing median around. Um, we have a lot of gaps in the in the area. So we're planning on planting 100 larger size trees. So these would be three inch diameter trees um, along those medians as part of our program. So the contract bid was opened on February 11th. Uh, we did get three bids this year. Uh, however, the lowest bid that was read aloud uh, came from a company in New York. Uh, they were called Chestnut Ridge Nursery. Um, after reviewing the bid, they did not satisfy multiple requirements in the bid. Uh, and thus we um, consider them unresponsive. Uh, one of the things was that the nursery was supposed to be within 100 miles of Bensonville so that we can go tag the trees. Um, obviously, New York is a little more than 100 miles. Not that I wouldn't really like to take a trip out there to tag some trees. Um, but they also changed some of the sizes, changed some of the quantities, changed some of the species of trees in the bid. So it really wasn't a apples to apples uh, type of bid. So we did 
um, can declare them unresponsive. And our second low bidder was St. Aubin Nurseries. Uh, St. Aubin has done our program for the last five years. Uh, we have a lot of good luck with them. Uh, they're very responsive. They warranty all their trees, even though they don't plant them. Um, so um, they've satisfied all the requirements of the bid and um, we are recommending approval of a contract with them. So the four year total is $142,230. Uh, the amount for 2021 does fall within our budget. Again, the, <clears throat> excuse me, that'll be the tree planting program and the Route 83 trees. So staff does recommend approval. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries. Resolution mm -hmm. is approved. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. Under recreation, we have a resolution authorizing an amendment to the licensing agreement for food and beverage service operations at the Edge Ice Arenas between Bella Vista Banquets and the Village of Bensonville. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. There being a motion and a second. Uh, Sean, can I have some discussion on this, please? Sean, you're muted. Yes, good evening, everyone. Sorry about that. Um, Bella Vista approached us about um, offering gaming terminals at the Blue Line uh, restaurant, bar and restaurant at the Edge Ice Arena um, a couple of years back. And after doing some research, other park districts, uh, other private ice arenas, it was determined that this would be a profitable, profitable business venture for the village. Um, the village will receive 25% of all gaming revenues um, once these machines are installed. So just so the board's clear on this, uh, we are going to restrict how Ray is able to advertise this at the blue line. They're not going to be um, advertiser geared towards kids. We're not putting flutter signs out in front of the edge at all. This is just going to be inside of the blue line uh, and catering to um, the patrons of the blue line. This is, uh, we're just extending the agreement we have with Ray that 25% of all sales um, come back to the village. So we're treating it just the same. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries and a resolution is approved. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to move on to the president's remarks. Um, just so everybody know, or everybody who d didn't know will know now, uh, on February 13th of, uh, of this year, obviously, we were uh, engaged with uh, Fenton High School, Wooddale, uh, us, Bensonville, the fire district, the library, the park district, district two, and uh, the Wooddale um, school, school districts in a vaccination event. Uh, Superintendent Antango was able to get us 1,500 vaccinations. I mean, I know when, when we put this together early on, we had about six days, and I know early on the number at the time was only like 700 or 750, so it blew up to 1,500. Um, so a lot of staff came in and volunteered on that day to help out. Um, I myself was there all day. It was a long day, and Evan and I joke about it. The next two days we were laying on the couch with sore backs, knees, hips, and everything else. But I, I got to tell you, and I'm going to speak just for myself, it was phenomenal. Not only was it set up, I mean, to the T, I was walking seniors back to get shots, and there were seniors that were crying because they couldn't believe that they mm -hmm. actually were getting shots. Um, they were waiting. They were on multiple lists. Um, so then I, I joked that said, okay, well, next time now we got to do 1800. So, but with that being said, um, we want to honor and recognize all the people involved, um, with a couple of proclamations. So I would like to, uh, I would like to read a, a proclamation right now. Um, hold on one second. Let me get ready. So this proclamation, whereas the village of Bentonville, Fenton Community High School District 100, Bentonville School District 2, Wooddale School District 7, the Bentonville Park District, and the Bentonville Public Library have a vibrant partnership that serves students and families with excellent services and supports that contribute significantly to a high quality of life in the communities. And whereas in the spirit of Fenton, 
Community High School held numerous COVID-19 vaccination clinics led by Albertson's Jewel Osco, Dr. Patel, in partnership with the Village of Bentonville, Bentonville School District 2, Wooddale School District 7, Bentonville Park District, Bentonville Public Library, and whereas the COVID-19 vaccination clinic could not have been possible without the selfless and generous support of these local municipalities and their leaders. And whereas Albertson's Jewel Osco and Dr. Patel was able to distribute thousands of COVID-19 vaccine, vaccines to school and community members in need during this 2021 event. Now, therefore, we, the Village of Bensonville, Fenton Community High School District 100, Bensonville School District 2, Wooddale School District 7, Bensonville Park District, and the Bensonville Public Library do hereby join in the appreciation of the COVID-19 vaccination events led by Albertson's Jewel Osco, Dr. Patel, and this important endeavor will positively affect the lives and well-being of our communities more than we will ever know. Thank you sincerely this day, signed by me, 23rd day of February, 2021. We have Dr. Patel here uh, to receive it on behalf of Jewel Osco. Doctor, we are, the Village of Bensonville, our seniors, our residents, our staff, our teachers are forever indebted to the work that you've done. Thank you so much. And uh, let me let me just get this voted on before we talk about it. So is there a motion in support of the proclamation? Definitely a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. There being a motion and a second discussion. First off, I got to tell you right now, reading that just gave me the chills once again. And I'm going to tell you right now, that was probably the best thing I've done in the four years I've been this village president. It was so worthwhile. And we've done a lot of things as a community but that right there to see those seniors come out and, you know, just wait for this vaccine and wait in the lines and, and it flowed. I mean, we've, we did 1500 and I don't think we ever fell behind, behind like four minutes of wait time. I mean, it was incredible mm. to see how it ran. Um, so I thank you, Dr. Patella, please, if you have anything to say, I would love to hear it. Yeah, honestly, a credit to James and his team there too. We couldn't have done it without them. The reason why it flowed so well was because of the preparation of all the volunteers and everyone willing to throw, you know, give a helping hand to us. Um, it, it, it couldn't have been better. And honestly, we've taken that method forward to every school that we've done. We've done Addison Trails. We're going to be doing Light in West to this week also. And um, it really gave us a blueprint on how can we get 1800 to 2000 shots in an efficient manner without um, making it uncomfortable for the patients. And again, big credit to Fenton high school. We wouldn't have been able to achieve that without their support. So with that being said, uh, we have a motion in a second. Can I, uh, can I have a roll call please? Sure. Trustee Franz. Yes. Trustee Fry. Yes. Trustee Lomax. Yes. Trustee Penicola. Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries. Thank you again, Dr. Patel. And just to add to that, and Evan can attest to this, after the event, and I'm even talking minutes after the event, we had voicemails thanking us, emails thanking us, Facebook posts thanking us. The library was flooded with calls. Um, and, and like I said, we got something special to show you guys at the end of this uh, meeting that kind of we tried to put it all together. But thank you again, Dr. Patel. And, and next up, I have a proclamation of appreciation to Fenton Community High School and Superintendent James Ontango. Whereas Fenton High School serves approximately 1,500 students from the community of Bensonville, Wooddale, and a small part of Addison. And whereas Fenton Community High School is an important institution providing exceptional education in the newly renovated state-of-the-art facility for the Bensonville and Wooddale community. And whereas Fenton Community High School, under the leadership of Superintendent James Ontango, facilitated a community-wide vaccination event for local seniors on February 13th, 2021. And whereas Fenton Community High School provided the optimal location for the vaccination event, which distributed over 1,500 of those COVID-19 vaccines. And whereas Fenton Community High School Superintendent James Ontango worked in collaboration with the Village of Bentonville, City of Wooddale, School Districts 2 and 7, the Bentonville Community Library, and the Bentonville Park District to take on the responsibility of scheduling, staffing, and overall organization of this event. Now, therefore, I, Frank DeSimone, proclaim in appreciation of Fenton Community High School and Superintendent James Ontango for the outstanding efforts in their operation and facilitation of the COVID-19 vaccination events. This date, 23rd day of February, 2021. 
So may I have a motion to, uh, or I had a motion a second. Can you call the roll? All right, we have a discussion. I'm sorry about that. James, little discussion from you, my friend. <laughs> Mayor, thank you. Board members, thank you. Mr. Summers, thank you for, for this great honor. As you know, um, Fenton is uh, at the service of, uh, of Bensonville. We are happy to do it. We're honored to do it. But it's really the superstar of the show is Dr. Patel. He made it very, very easy. Um, basically, he was the quarterback, and he was just setting up the plays for us on what in regards to what to do. It was just absolutely fantastic. Mayor, I agree with you. There was uh, a ton of phone calls, a ton of thank you, whether it's in English, Polish, or Spanish, um, all along our community. It really united our community uh, in, in this time of crisis, in this time of pandemic. And um, no, it, it was also one of the, the best times and one of the best initiatives that we've ever had in my seven years at, at Fenton. And, and to quite frankly say it, it was fun too, wasn't it, Mayor? It was it, it really was, fun. It, it was really fun. And like I said, I would, I would joke with some of the seniors and, and uh, I would tell them, listen, we can't give you the vaccination unless you hit a three-pointer or you do a layup or slam dunk. And they would kind of laugh because you could see some nervousness and, and then, you know, you could see some, you know, another line I used to use, it was if you cry, they kick you out. So we right. kind of tried to make it lighthearted. And um, <laughs> I, I know it touched some of our employees pretty well. And I, I had to warn a couple of them to stop crying because then I would start crying. But uh, it, it was it was great. I mean, I, that's all I can say. And I know Evan, I know Evan's moved by it. But before I forget, I also want to thank, you know, the Bensonville Fire District, too, was there on hand. Um, and Bensonville and Wooddale Police Departments were there as well, too. So I want to shout out and thank those guys as well, too. But again, eye opener. And I hate to say it, but I, I mean it. Let's do it again. I wish we didn't have to say that, but we're here to do it again. Whatever you guys need from us, we will be happy. And I believe less than seven days we put this together, correct? Yeah, the way that worked is I got a phone call Friday night at 11 p.m. from James and said, hey, I think I've, at the time it was 700 doses and for next week. And I go, James, that's how, how are we going to do that? And he goes, well, we, we can't fail. So... You know, Monday morning, we started throwing things together and it, it came together. So I, I personally have to look to James for inspiration on that. I mean, there were so many things that could have gone wrong that did. Um, it, there's a snowstorm that came in, but like it just, we just had to keep innovating and coming up with solutions. And James was my inspiration for that. So thank you so much, James. Thank you. So with that being said, can you please call the roll, Nance? Sure. Trusty Franz? Yes. Trusty Fry? Yes. Trusty Lomax? Yes. Trusty Penicola? Yes. Trusty Perez? Yes. James, I started a slow clap. It didn't look too good on Zoom, but I just wanted to know what it was at. All right. The motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. I would ask, we have a special presentation coming up now, so I would ask that everybody please mute their microphones so we can see if we can go ahead and play this. We ready? I want to thank the village of Bensonville and Fenton High School for the wonderful job they did in vaccinating the seniors. I truly appreciate the opportunity to get my vaccine. After living here for over 55 years, I'm still proud to be a resident in such a wonderful town. Just want to say thank you to everyone who was responsible for giving me the opportunity to get my COVID vaccine shot. Many of my non-community friends have had a very hard time scheduling their first shot. For me, it was a very good experience. We were in and out in under an hour. So thank you very much for telling me about it. And I appreciate it more than I can tell you. Hi, I'm calling to thank the village for the opportunity to get the vaccine. I was there on Saturday and the organization that was demonstrated was impeccable. I am calling to express my high gratitude to all those who have been involved in coordinating the COVID vaccine. I would like to thank all the volunteers who made this possible. I'm calling to say thank you. One of the many benefits offered to Bensonville's over 65 residents. We thank you so much. I find out that I was, it, was, it was available to me. I was just 
moved by it. I, I, again, I can't thank enough of all the people at the village who made my life better. And thank you very, very much. I was at Benton High School. And I just want to thank the village, first of all, for thinking of its seniors to even plan this. Uh, it was wonderful from the time I got dropped off by the door until the time I went home. I mean, people were kind, courteous, extremely professional. And to think that everyone there took their time off of work uh, on a Saturday to be away from family and friends just to help people, it was remarkable. Guys, you may not believe it, but you guys are the heroes of our community for that. And uh, again, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Um, we will be proud to partner with anything and everything you have for us in the future. Thanks again, Dr. Patel. Thanks again, James, for all that you guys do for us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, guys. All right. We got to move on to finish out this meeting. Uh, we do not have a village manager's report. Uh, I don't think we have a village attorney's report. Is there any unfinished business before the board today? Seeing none. Is there any new business to come before the board today? Seeing none. Is there a need for executive session? There's not a need for executive session this evening. So is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? You have a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. I'm trying to slow play this because I don't know if Anthony's back upstairs yet. We're good? <laughs> Please call the roll. Okay. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penacola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yeah. <laughs> That's five. Thank you, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Gentlemen, this motion carries, and we are adjourned. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.